Yo what's up YouTube, Kamsi here, um, today I'm back with another tutorial and in today's tutorial you will need Cinema 4D and Photoshop and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make the cell rendered text and how you can use it pretty cool in Photoshop lately. So just go into Cinema 4D and we will start, I'll just call the text tutorial like this. Well now the font searching. <laughs> It's always like the hardest part of anything. I'll make it quick um just use agency f b It's a font which matches to pretty much every style and to pretty much every background like clean style, grungy style, whatever and matches to everything. It's always a really nice font so um basically, if you run this out now, it's looking normally like with the orange material on it and that stuff just how you made it <clears throat> and that's how I'm going to s render it out now just like this for example um, come on. it shouldn't take too long because I don't have that much render settings added to this Lightroom so it's pretty much I'm going to finish in a second and yeah so Okay. Yep. Now it's done, and you can close this down. And yeah. So now we are going to make the cell render, and for this, just click on the render setting symbol, which is this one. Just click on it and click that effect, and now cell render. And now what you see here, keep everything like this. Just take edges and change the edge color to white and the background color to black like this and now if you go back let's just change the location where it should save as tutorial cell or whatever um, if you render it out now it's looking like this not normally it's black and white and you see all these white stripes in there it's looking pretty cool um, and yeah so let's render this up and I'm going to show you how you can use this in Photoshop now so basically first of all is um, open up the no not here uh, open up the tutorial text you got I'll just open with Photoshop and this should be finished rendering pretty soon as well so but you can alright drag and drop this in here wow like this just put it in wherever you want to use it um... okay here we go then this one the cell rendered one just open it with Adobe Photoshop as well and drag and drop it wherever you want to use it so for first just put it over the text that it's exactly fitting it should lock up for a few millimeters where when it fits to the to another text I'll just double okay because I'm showing you two ways how you can use that pretty cool and the first way is just like add pretty cool layer styles to your normal text just like like I made a tutorial um, like this just drop shot I'm making this pretty quick now like something like that and now we are coming to the cell render and uh, for this just go over here and click no click soft light that's looking pretty cool already but now you can like duplicate it first and uh, no, from the top and uh, from bottom cell render layer just put that on about 20% opacity and then from the top layer just use the eraser and erase some stuff away it's looking like like this just however you want to use it or whatever you want to do with it um, that's just a tip from me it's looking pretty cool now um, and the second 
thing what you can do with it basically um put the wait like this put the normal text over the sad rendered one well, like this um and now I'll go to the sad render I'm gonna add the drop shadow Zero, 20 and 24 like this pretty quick so yeah now you can go over here and add green overlay put that on overlay and put it down to about 50 percent and now to get rid of the lazy styles because you will use the eraser on it just click convert to smart object rasterize layer like this so um now you got this and now you just click it and go over with the eraser and like erase away some of the parts here like this it's looking pretty cool after this whole thing and now you can for example duplicate the siren thing put it on soft light and put it to about 20% or 30% then so adding a pretty cool effect and it's looking real amazing now you can merge all of these three layers together and you go one text which is looking like this and now you can use it in the background um, on a wallpaper on whatever you want to use it um, and yeah just play around with this it's not looking that good because I made it really quick for the tutorial but if you're making it for your background or anything take your time and make it as fast as you can let it look real amazing really clean and that stuff just take your time making it it's worth it so yeah um, that would be for this tutorial I hope you enjoyed this please leave a like and a comment and also go subscribe to my channel if you haven't subscribed yet um, and yeah stay tuned for the next channel uh, oh, stay tuned for the next video I'm up peace